Hey guys, what's going on? Charlie Anderson from DreamWorks Exteriors. Today, I'm gonna give you a crash course on how to read your insurance paperwork or the insurance estimate that you get whenever you file a claim. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you guys find this video um, entertaining, informative, educational, all the above because at the end of the day, this video here is made for our customers. I want you guys to be able to read the, this insurance estimate just as well as I can so that we can uh, we can speak about the project, really understand the scope of work, what's there, what's missing, um, what, what needs to be added, and so on and so forth. So thank you for watching and let's take a look. Okay, so now that we have our attention turned to um, our insurance estimate, I'm gonna make this really quick because I'm just giving a general outline here, but this is a State Farm estimate. State Farm is the largest insurance company in the US, so um, I thought it was good to use this one as a sample set because um, it is the most common one that we see. So the first page of your insurance estimate that you get will be just this. It'll be an overview page that kind of explains some of their terms and conditions. Um, we're gonna breeze over that in this video because it's not really conducive to what I'm trying to talk about here. But this is the most important page and where you're gonna get most of your information here. So up here on the top, you're gonna see um, your name, your property address, your cell phone. Um, the most, one of the most important things up here is your claim number. Claim number is gonna be used to organize everything within the claim. So any emails sent, anytime they need to look up your file, if we have a question, anything like that, this is what you want to be using, your claim number. Um, I blanked everything out here so we don't give anybody's information away, um, but uh, moving along, it will tell you, you know, what kind of claim this was. This was a wind claim here, uh, the total amount of your deductible, um, the date the loss occurred, and the date that the adjuster was first out there to write this estimate here. So uh, moving along into the summary. So this is a summary for coverage A dwelling 35 windstorm and hail. While that may not mean anything, what it tells us is that this is the total amount for one of the dwelling, this is, or for the dwelling on the property. Now, if there was a shed or a garage, uh, we would see something down here or maybe on another page um, that says, you know, summary for coverage B, you know, garage or extended or something along those lines to tell us that there's another, um, another piece to this property that's also included in this claim. Um, but right now, we are just looking at the dwelling, which is the main the main home here. So, looking at the line item total, this thirty one thousand three hundred seven seventy eight is going to be a total add up, total sum I should say, of all of these unit prices here in the quantities. So, whenever you figure these numbers out here, you know uh, that will add up to this total line item total so uh, that's before tax before contractors overhead and profit yada 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 everything um, so this is a number we don't really use this number too much because it's you know we want to be looking more down here um, but just to understand what exactly that means they're going to give an allowance for sales tax which is all calculated within these numbers here um, you know 5166 there is um, or rather the 231.48 there's a certain amount of uh, sales tax built in on the materials in there. Uh, exactly how they figure that out, you know, is you have to get into Xactimate to understand that. But, you know, it gives us a total, you know, overview of how much sales tax we're getting. But the really important part to us here is the subtotal down. So the subtotal is everything added up here, the line item total plus the tax. And then we're gonna come down to this item here, which is the general contractor's overhead and profit. So whenever you hire a, a general contractor to take care of these repairs for you, you know, there is there are other costs involved that are not included in any of these other line items below, such as you know, our time to to line up the crews, to line up the material deliveries, have a have a manager on site to make sure everything is running smoothly handle all the paperwork, handle the, the uh, back and forths with trying to get different supplements approved to the insurance company, fuel, uh, insurance, advertising, any cost that a general contractor has um, is going to be you know 
typically added on by anybody that's bidding a job. So um, the insurance company is just taking the liberty of doing it for us. Um, this number is typically 10% and 10% of the total uh, subtotal here. So it uh, looks like there's a few items that they weren't adding in here, which is okay. So this maybe works out. This probably works out to a little closer to 9% or so. But um, this is going to be on most of the, of the uh, jobs that we do. You know, we always push for it if we can. Um, because it is something that every general contractor has overhead and every general contractor deserves to make at least some amount of profit, right, to stay in business so we can offer these services to customers. So when you add these all up, 30, the subtotal and your general, your, your uh, O&P, you're going to arrive at this number here, which is your replacement cost value or RCV, as we call it. Uh, here we're looking at 37350320 now that is the total amount of the claim that is the whole kit and caboodle um, all added together with your deductible o p taxes line items everything all in that's the total number and this is what most of our contract amounts are going to be unless there's something that we're not doing or something that we are not going to bill the insurance company for moving along we have our depreciation so depreciation is a certain percentage that the insurance company takes off of different things on your home every single year. So let's say for simplicity's sake, it's 1%. You have a $10,000 roof on your home. That roof is going to depreciate by 1% every single year that you are under that policy. Um, or every, every, and every single year that you own that home, there's going to be a certain amount of depreciation, um, which is just value lost. So the insurance company went through with their with their numbers and um, figured out all the depreciation and the sales tax associated with those items for a total amount of twelve thousand eighty six twenty five. Uh, they're also taking away some of the general contractors overhead and profit on the recoverable depreciation as well um, because this number is calculated based off of assuming a replacement cost value on everything so they're going to take a little bit of, um, of the general contractors overhead and profit off as well. Uh, they're going to then go ahead and take your deductible out, which you'll just pay to the contractor directly uh, in the form of a, a separate payment. Uh, unfortunately, this has to be done. It is just insurance law that this is the amount of money that you agreed to pay before these replacement cost, these replacement cost benefits here are able to kick in. So what that's going to net you here after you take all this stuff off is a actual cash value payment or ACV. And here we have uh, 21,536 So that's the first check the insurance company is going to give you. And that is payment for everything as it stands on your home that was damaged. So in this case, we had a tree come down. It damaged the roof, damaged the siding, damaged the windows and, and uh, some fascia and a few other things. All of that had a value of $21,536.71. So to come down to the, the additional amounts that are available, so this is a replacement cost policy, meaning that um, the insurance company will pay you an additional amount of money in what it's going to take to bring your house back to where it was, right? So they'll pay all that depreciation that was on here. They're going to pay you all that back. So that's what's showing here is the total depreciation that is available to come back to you, um, as well as that general contractor's overhead and profit that they were withholding here as well. So when you add all of those up, that's going to give you your replacement cost benefits, $14,503.49. So that will, you add everything up and get our total sum here, that gives us $36,040.20, which is simply this number here, your total replacement cost minus your deductible. So all in all, you will be paying the contractor $37,350.20, and uh, as well as this, and that will give you um, that will give you your total amount that you are paying out for the claim. So, you know, a $37,000 job, you're getting it for 1310, pretty, pretty good deal. Um, to run over the line items really quick, this is, you know, a pretty typical roof. You have the removal of the shingles, the installation of the shingles, uh, drip edge, continuous ridge vent, um, uh, a additional charge for steep, and high roof, um, as well as you know things like chimney flashings um, and some of the other miscellaneous odds and ends like ridge cap. Now this is 
something I want to talk about really quick. These are our supplemental items. So when we first got in contact with this customer and got this paperwork, these items were not here. We had to document, we had to call the insurance company to get them to add these things. Um, you know, the high roof, the roof was two stories, so there's an extra charge there. Ice and water barrier, which is a code item, as well as ridge cap uh, covering the ridge vent there at the peak of the roof and uh, pipe jacks, pipe flashings. So these were all items that were not there that we, you know, took the time to get added onto the claim to make sure that we were getting our customer a fair settlement for everything. So that's a basic overview of how to read one of these estimates. Um, you know, if you look here, you can see this is really reflective of all the other items that we saw up above in the form of, you know, the general contractor's overhead profit. You can see that break, broken down line by line, and that's going to give you replacement cost. This is the depreciation here. So this roof was depreciated by a total amount of $5,703.34, right? So I gave them an, AC, an actual cash value of $2,851. So on the back end of things, they were able to recover this amount of money so that everything would equal out to this $8,555. Um, so that's a really quick basic overview of how to read these things. They're really not as, as daunting or scary or confusing as what some people think they are. It just takes a little bit of uh, patience and understanding. And, you know, of course, here at DreamWorks, we are here to help and we're here to be transparent and explain all this stuff to you because, after all, it's your home and you deserve to be to be well-informed and educated whenever you're going through with an insurance claim. So that's about it, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to listen, and we'll see you on the next video.